We'll help you get started on that new life of yours. Dish Mover from Dish Network. Welcome home. has been Melissa's stepfather for nine years and for those nine years it's been very strained I wanted to talk to him and find out more you have a relationship with Melissa that is no I really don't you know that one we just don't get along she says she hates me yeah it hurts me I gotta admit you know I, I sit I can sit alone and, and even cry about it because there's no relationship between us I do love her I love Melissa but she needs, we need our relationship, our family, and our future. We just need to improve all of this. I appreciate that. Thank you. It was in the afternoon when I got to talk to Kip, and I realized that the kids treat him just like they do their mother. Nobody listens. Where's your doll? Get that coat. Get that coat. I didn't give her permission. She didn't tell me where she was going. She's just going to go out and play. I can't understand what she's saying. It's hard, and they take off behind me, and I don't see them. They don't come up to me. They don't tell me. This family situation is not uncommon. Over 90% of deaf parents have children who are hearing. Later on in the evening, the whole family sat down for dinner, and Kristen decided she didn't want green beans on her plate. <laughs> Mum had finally had enough, so she decided to give Kristen a timeout. Okay, you go, time out. <laughs> time out. No. Go time no. out. Okay, I have to go in the timeout today. Poo hoo. And you're not playing. Finally had things under control, and then Melissa walked in. <laughs> Melissa walked in and straight away went over to Kristen and said, Right, let's sit down and finish your dinner. I'm gonna come sit, sit down. I haven't ate yet. Do you want to eat with me? No. I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm eating too. Okay. And Melissa automatically overrode her mum's decision. And mum didn't do anything about it. I brought something home if you eat all your dinner. There really needs to be much said with regards to these parents stepping up so Melissa feels that she can step back down. What time is bedtime? Nine o'clock. Kip tells the girls to go to bed at nine o'clock. So bedtime in the Ballish family is incredibly late, to say the least. Go down, go back. Oh, go back. You not go back. Well go. So they're up and down the hallway, and Mum and Dad are up and down the hallway. <laughs> and you just see this classic example of three little girls saying, great, we've got Mum and Dad's time. Stop. And the only way we're going to continue to have their attention and time is if we're naughty. So, hey, bingo, we know what to do. Mum was absolutely exhausted. Dad was getting more and more frustrated. And you could see that this was a bubble that was about to burst. And this went on for like over two hours. How are you feeling right now? It's, oh it's stress. It's just too much no, stress. No they just don't listen. No. It became too much for Mum. She was very frustrated. What the hell? I became angry. I, I felt like it just kept building and building, and I was gonna blow. Please, please, please. I just need your help. You'll get my help. We'll get to the bottom of this. Okay. Take a. Mum was so frustrated, and I knew I could help her. I just couldn't wait for the next day so I could get teaching. The next morning, I went to the Borlish household and had a meeting with an interpreter behind me. 
So today, really what I want to do is to discuss the issues that I feel need to be addressed so that we can work really hard in finding a resolution to these problems. Let's talk about communication. In every angle of your family dynamic, communication has broke down. How do you do the best you can as a parent when your kids are not learning American Sign Language? The girls do know some signs, but sometimes they drop the sign and they, they leave us parents out because we don't understand them clearly. I want to help them. I want to teach them. I want to sit down with the ASL book and teach them. But no, they just take off. They don't want to pay attention. They don't want to listen. It's mandatory. This isn't an option. Let's talk about behavior here. The kids' behavior is disrespectful. They take advantage of the fact that you are both deaf. They think, oh, well, mum, dad can't hear. But it's not the point that you can't hear. It's the point that actually your kids are growing up to feel that it's OK to even talk to their parents the way that they do. And right now, we've got two parents who want to throw the towel in, who want to give up. There are no expectations set up for these kids because you've taken that away from yourselves when you decided to place Melissa in an authoritative figure in this house. The kids do listen to Melissa. She's hearing. I think they respect her more. I think it's, it's clear. She's strict. I know we're parents, but I think being deaf. That doesn't make you any less a parent because you are deaf. I feel so tired, and I do give up. And I do want to go to Melissa and say, help. And she says, no. You know, why won't you cooperate? You're the sister. Help mom and me. And she gets tired. And she doesn't want to. Kip, Melissa shouldn't have to. You are the parents here. Let's talk about Melissa. I spoke to her yesterday. I couldn't even see her face. She cried so much. She wants to reach out to the pair of you as parents. She's really in a lot of pain. You know, I, I want to go out with Melissa and have fun and play around, but she gets so angry with me. She just disagrees with everything I say. We go back to arguing, and I say, let's forget it. I, I do love you. Let's have a relationship. You know, clean up the house. You know, work with the kids. You know, I'll help you. You help me. She's been helping more than enough. She's been helping you raise your kids as she is meant to be one of your kids. Let's talk about bedtime. Ridiculous! And you'll push over the pair of you. You've got to be firmer at bedtime, but you've got to set up a routine that allows these children to wind down. Change can happen here in this house, and it can happen. It can happen today. Okay, give me your hands then. Because together we make change, okay? Yes, I promise. And I look forward to starting some work. Okay, thank you. Coming up on Super Nanny. Melissa, get off of me. Melissa explodes and runs out on her parents. Melissa. And this time, she may never come back. When Super Nanny returns.